So in this example, we have employees that are evaluated for salary raises. And the criteria are dependability, education, experience, and quality. And these are pairwise compared, as I just showed you. And here are the relative values. But under dependability, we create a scale of uh, to recognize candidates, outstanding, above average, average, below average, unsatisfactory. And now we, and so on for the others, doctorate, master, bachelor, high school, uneducated, exceptional, under experience, a lot, average, little, none, etc. They don't have to be the same number. There could be two of them here, it could be five of them there. But what we have to do to create these numbers is we have to pairwise compare them. And unless you are an expert in that job, you cannot make these pairwise comparisons because it depends on dependability on a specific uh, operation. And to, to compare outstanding and above average, it may be a lot better to be understanding and above average, like if you're comparing soldiers according to their dependability to push the nuclear button, you really don't want outstanding and above average to be close. But if you have a waiter in a restaurant and you want to judge how much better to be outstanding above average, maybe it doesn't matter very much if the waiter uh, dropped a couple of drops of water on the table cover or something. So it, uh, pairwise comparing these elements requires expert judgment. And if that expert judgment has become obsolete that some corporations have told us they want to do pair comparisons, then it's not very good to do your alternatives. See, in this case, you see we've got these values and we multiply them by that, multiply them by that. First, we divide by the highest value. So outstanding will get a one, and the others will get fractional value of that. And here, doctor will get a one, and so on. And we have candidates that are rated. They are rated, not compared, rated on each of these intensities. And so Adams is outstanding on the dependability, and he gets 1 times 0.435. And uh, uh, gets a, he has a bachelor's degree. And I don't know what bachelor's degree would rate and be multiplied by that. And this is his score. And when you normalize it, you get this column on the right. And so if you had $100 to give him for salary raises, he would get $18, he would get $11, he gets $12.20, and so on. 